They have my neighborhood. You haven't seen the residential parking pass? Why would I have seen that? I've seen it around several, <laughs> all over Austin. There's many places. Why would you pay attention to any street sign ever? Why would you ever do that, Ken? Yeah, you're asking Gavin about street signs. Do you pay and... <laughs> Do I pay attention to street signs? Yes, Gavin. No, I do. All the time. Do you pay attention to plane signs when you're on the plane? When you park with, let's say Meg drives you somewhere. Uh-huh. And you guys are going out to dinner. That's a thing that you do occasionally. Sure. Right? You go to dinner somewhere. Don't you sometimes have to figure out where you're going to park? So when that, part of, that? when that part of it comes up, are you just like, I'm of no help to anybody here? And well, you just I wander off car? on your phone while what? Meg figures out <laughs> whether or not she can park in a space? <laughs> she's, she's very capable of figuring out her own parking. What, do you think she needs me to help park? You don't even participate, though, is what I'm saying. You know. Does the pilot need help when you're on a plane? Does he need help? Yeah, he does. There's the two end? of them. There's a co-pilot. Yeah? The other person sitting in the front, does he rely, they help. Does he rely on the passengers to... That's not what you're saying. No one in the back seat's helping. <laughs> the two people in the front seat. Is she your chauffeur? Why does she I... drive you around and you sit in the back seat pretending not to listen to her while you read the Financial <laughs> Times? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm just saying if you don't use the vehicle, you don't gotta look at the signs for it. But when you're parking and you're trying to figure stuff out, like when you're- <laughs> What's to figure out? Oh my god. Okay. I understand okay. where you're coming from and I also understand where you're coming from. Really? It's not like a joint effort when you're out with somebody. Oh, well, it is. I mean, yeah. like a, like a Would you not be annoyed if, if you're driving with someone you're dating and they just flat out refuse to Listen, be any help at all? I understand it's a joint effort and I agree with you both, but I think the fact that you guys are uh, forgetting about is it's fucking Gavin. She's so. very capable. <laughs> you know when you see it, we're attention. trying to make it not Gavin. That's <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying. You know when you see a helipad, but you don't know when you can park in it? Or do you not care because you have a helicopter? Well, if I'm in a helicopter, I'll probably figure that out after the, my 80th trip in the fucking helicopter. If you're in a probably. helicopter, I bet you're looking like, oh, I hope we can land there. Yeah. I hope that is a, a proper okay, place for a helicopter <laughs> land. This doesn't seem like a helicopter landing. I think we're going to crash. Gus, did you know the airplanes, when they show up at airports, they park at gates? They don't just throw people out of the side of the plane? <laughs> onto the tarmac? When you're, in the you back of a, when you're in the back of a plane, do you ever look and think, oh, I hope we're landing at an airport? Yeah. Is this a place a plane can land? Hmm. I hope there's a, not a no plane sign here. Sure. And I wonder if this is one of those airports where they just back the planes in, as opposed to pulling yeah. in forwards. Wait, Maybe that happens sometimes, too. Do you, I don't know, because I'm not a fucking <laughs> commercial pilot, so I never fucking paid attention. Where do you park your jet ski? <laughs> if I ride a jet ski, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to tell if you I that. If I drive a car, I'll He's be able to ride. tell you where to park! If I, I'm thinking if I ride on a jet ski, if I'm riding behind someone, I'll figure out where to park jet skis. Or will the person driving it who owns the jet ski figure it out because they probably parked it 700 times. You've been a passenger in a car 8 billion times <laughs> and you've never you've never looked at where to park a car or figured it out. You're What's just a babe lost out? in the woods doing your own thing. <laughs> Nobody else's experience like, matters in any way it, whatsoever. You're making it sound like if I wasn't in the car, Meg would just be like, that's not what he's making it sound like. Not at all. It's a joint no. effort. It's helping. It's not a joint effort. It's because like, she's it's looking for parking. Common courtesy. You be looking around being like, oh, I mean, there's a you spot. Live with oh, Meg. I see this. Navigate. You live with I'll Meg. Get the navigation out, sure. You live with Meg. Yeah. So let's just say I don't know what your situation is like. Let's just say it's your job to pay the electricity <laughs> bill every month. That's uh -huh. your job. She doesn't do it at all. And one day she turns on all the lights, and you're like, "Well, that runs up the electricity bill." She goes, <laughs> "You know what I mean? <laughs> That's gonna affect you, right? You're gonna be like, hey, 'Hey, you're in this with me. Turn off the fucking lights.'" She's like, "I don't pay the bill. That's not my responsibility." Flip, 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 flip. flip. She has paid an electricity bill in her life. Hey, Gavin. Yep. Yeah. Uh, when we go for Bev's, I'll let you find parking for <laughs> Please us. Please film that. I'm just gonna drive, and you're gonna find parking. <laughs> Please film oh, that. Oh, God. It's like, you don't even know that that's a thing. What's that, the thing? That, like, there's restrictions on where you can park and when. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, of course. Because. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a reminder everyone, this episode of the podcast <laughs> is brought to you by Squarespace.